What's up? I'm Gary. And I'm Nate. And this is the Gary and Nate podcast. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You got your legs real uh select. comfortable. No, this is this is success. Okay. I think I think you know real men cross their legs at the ankle, huh? What? Huh? You know, my son, when he played basketball in junior high and high uh up to ninth grade, he used to get on the bench. Like he'd be playing to coach Silver Mountain, he'd be like, I said, why are you still like <laughs> you leave me on the bench like that's wild dude. Off to your end. Oh, and then he'd kick it out. He's like this. All right. <laughs> Would he put in work once he got in? Yeah, he was a good three point shooter. It was oh, funny though. Man. He was sitting there like this. I'm like, why are you sitting like this? <laughs> All relaxing. the other kids are like, Yeah, everybody else leaning forward. Nah, cross his leg. He's a hell of a pickleball player now. Is he? My son? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably state champ. If it was they a sport. Got, okay. <laughs> I was like, they got championships for pickleball. Speaking of family. Yeah. It's a big week for me. It's Can not I- a big week for you. It's a huge week for you. Mm-hmm. It's a big week for us. Facts. Yes. So next Tuesday, October 29th. Mm. Mm-hmm. My special drops on YouTube. Let's go. Called Broken Family. Let's go. Just so you know, those claps aren't fake. Those are real people. We have a studio audience. Yeah. Bam. That's right. And you we want got to Sean why? Morgan and Adam Fink are here. <laughs> Sean Morgan. <laughs> Sean What's Morgan. What's your name again? Deja. Huh? Deja and Asfaha. Yeah, we got two <laughs> people here. <laughs> oh, my God. We got Captain Phillips. He's the one that didn't make it on the boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> we got to give no. you a nickname. Um, Shit. You want to watch on YouTube? What'd you say? You want to know why it's on YouTube? Why do I? Why do I? Do I want to know why it's on YouTube? Why is my special on YouTube? Because it's a wonderful platform that's accessible by millions and millions of people that are already subscribed to channels and getting content that they love, and you know why not? Yeah, because you get all the money. Yeah, all the control. Yes, and I was like, oh, sounds like a good deal. I'm gonna go with YouTube, and there's other reasons. But we're going to keep it positive. Like what? Keep it positive. (laughs) No. Well, Netflix passed again. And I would say it's because I'm white and I'm male, but. ah. Seems like a lot of that's on there already. I know. So I wanted to go with that angle, but that didn't work. So I was like, uh, I can't put my finger on it. Can't put my finger on it. I would like to say they don't know what they're doing, but if they gave me one, I'd be like, they know what they're doing. It's very selfish. <laughs> they got it wrong until they tapped me. I know. That's how you feel about Netflix. I'm like, that, man, they got the wrong people running Netflix. And I'm like, Gary, we changed our mind. We're going to give you one. You know what? The right people are running that network. They got some good quality people over there. But what you said again, though. Yeah, that my whole career. Like, every special I've had. People think, like, I got specials all over the place. And I do have some on Amazon Prime. I do got some on Hulu. Stuff like that. But that was after the fact. Okay. I've only had two networks that I had specials on. Showtime and BET. What was the Showtime one? There's like five on Showtime. I've okay, but what's the BET one then? There was four on BET? You but that nine, was back in the day. But there's nine specials. No, I got more than that because I got two I did independently that never saw the light of day. They saw the light of day, but it was on when we were doing DVDs. Right. Hustling. I was... my. I'll put it like this. My first... TV holding deals was with Quincy Jones. What? And I'll never forget. From Seattle? Oh, yeah. Quincy's from Seattle. That's right. I yeah. forgot about that. You think you're out the way right now. You're into epicenter yeah, of entertainment right. business right my now. My bad. So Quincy had my first um, holding deal. And the money I got from that holding deal, I was watching something on Mario Van Peebles. Okay. And he said when he first got some money in the entertainment business, instead of buying cars or chains, he bought camera equipment. He bought film. Yeah. So he could make more movies on his own. I'm just not wired like that. Okay. Now, what I can do is do my own special yeah. and pay people to film it. So that's where I took that money from Quincy and put a big portion of it into the, my first special called Breaking Out the Park. The first special I did on my own. I had one on BET at the time. Okay. And didn't sell it anywhere. Okay. 
sold it on the road for about five years. So I made my money back right. and then some. But what that special did, I got two more holding deals by networks or studios seeing that special. Because if they said, who's this guy? We'd give them that DVD at the time. Mm-hmm. So that's how, remember I told you a story about the table read with the yes. Bowser? That deal came from that special. Really? Yeah. So it's always, I got shit out there. Just But know. it wasn't a network special. It was a DVD hustle flip flip special. We, we filmed it. We tried to sell it. And at that point, at that time, there wasn't as many outlets to sell your stuff. Right. So nobody bought it, but I had good, I had a good special that you could cut up into bits that you could show to networks or studios. So I ended up honestly making my money tenfold off of it. It just took a little time. Right. So now we're in a digital age where you just release it on YouTube then you cut the clips up and get it out there. And then the asses and seats follow. That's the fact. Yeah. That's a fact. YouTube is, a, it's a monster right now. It really is a beast. Mm-hmm. And so what was the process for uh, for Netflix? You said they turned you down again. Well, every special I've had, they've said no. And I don't want to say they. It's the people who run the comedy division. Uh, but, you know, my thing is, like, I'm not even sure if they're watching it. What? You know what I mean? It's like you're submitting it, but you have no idea if they really watched it or they're just like, eh. You don't know. You don't want to take it into them? No. My – Sit them down and, and press play. We, my reps are there. Yeah, for that reason, the close I ever got was at one point they said they were going to do it at the Apollo, which I thought was dope for okay. my audience and everything. And then it was the weirdest thing. I don't know. What, I don't know what happened. It just went away. It was like no, like no contract was signed. They said oh, we're going to do it. We're just trying to find the date, and I was like waiting for like six months, and then it just kind of. I was like, whatever happened to that? It literally just went away. Like, Did somebody that you were working with go to another company or something? No. No, it just literally, this was like five, six years ago. It just kind of went away. Okay, so this special is coming out on YouTube. Where did you shoot it? San Jose. That's a great comedy city. Mm-hmm. And uh, how'd you feel? Looking back, it was... I was at a different place mentally. I tell you what, I'm I'm having a hard time dealing with. Okay. So I've had all these family issues, right? And this this special, I go pretty hard, like really hard on my dad because he had a he did a lot of dirty shit during my divorce. Okay. So I'm really I get into what he did, right? Okay. But I go off on him. I go off on his wife. I go off on a lot of people pretty hard. Okay. Here we are. Months later, and I'm, I, I reconcile with my sister. Oh, you got to be like, uh, look. not not my dad, not look. their mom, but my sisters. Yeah, I, and I had to tell them. I said, look, I've already put this shit down. This shit is done. It's it's basically sold. It's gonna come out there. I said, but you gotta. I'm going pretty hard on dad and your mom, but I also said like, but really watch what I'm saying, and you gotta take everything like a grain of salt. Like I go in on myself a lot of a lot of jokes, very self. De- but it deprecating? Yes. You know, but at the time I was, I was, that's, that was the most angry I was at mm. during a special because he did me dirty. He's still alive? Oh, yeah. He's only like 18 years older than me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have like an old dad like me. I got, I'm an old dad now. But, but this is going to be like a, uh, this is going to be an icebreaker for you. Like he's going to see this. Oh, he sees everything. Even to this day, he sees everything. Is this going to help or is this going to hurt? I depends on how he takes it. Do you I, I, care? I don't care. I now that I'm cool with my sisters on that side, I do care about their feelings. Right. So that aspect, yeah, I care. But I he deserves it. Sometimes you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. Okay. And how did the San Jose crowd receive it that night? Oh, there was they was eating it up. You did one show too. I did two shows Friday. Uh-huh. That was Broken Family. And then I said to my manager, Saturday morning, we were having coffee. I, I said, how how we do last night? Because she directed it. Right. She did good. I said, we're clean, though? She was, yeah. I said, I think I think I got another hour. And she goes, do you want to do it? And I said, fuck it. So we, got we did the, the we second got the money. hour. We're all here. Did the second hour Saturday. And that one's going to be called, my name is Gary Owen, no S. Yeah. 
So that's the second one. So I got two hours out there. So we're going to release this one Tuesday, okay. October 29th. The next one, maybe a month later, two months later. Definitely, they both are going to be out in 2024. So we're just seeing how the first one does it, and then we'll gauge how we're going to release that second one. But they're both going to be on YouTube and coming out. I mean, the bad part is I'm wearing the same outfit. Kind of like this podcast a little bit. Well, you know, favorite shoes. Because you know how you, when you record, Yeah, I thought it was going Friday, Saturday, I went and bought two of the same shirts, two of the same jeans. Yes. And I was like, and then when we came Saturday, I go, you know, I'm, I'm wearing the same outfit though. Same backdrop. So basically you could What's spice the backdrop? Them. Just curtains and stuff. Nothing crazy. Got it. They didn't even change like the lighting? Like one was blue, one was orange? The, well, I don't think they knew. I don't think the camera guys knew. You just started doing different material. That's it. I was like, hey, do, do another hour. When did you record it? The very end of last year. Very end of 2023. I'm excited for Tuesday to see it. And for those that are watching the show, there's nothing on Tuesday that's more important than watching Gary's special. I don't that care part. if I don't care if your baby's being born. Have it on in the room. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 6, 6 p.m. Pacific. PM. Yeah. We did that so everybody could see it. That's genius. It's like a football game. And that morning. I'm on the Breakfast Club to pump it, and I'll pump this too. Wonderful. So that's what I, that's what I'm doing for you. Hey, man, that's dope. Yeah, I know. So, listen, I I'm stoked. I'm stoked. January 11th and 12th, I just got cleared to to use a theater in Seattle to shoot a special. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Just not for YouTube, it. though. Why not? Is it going to be for YouTube? Could go anywhere. Oh. You going to come? 11th and 12th? Hey, it's January. It's Friday, Saturday, right? Should be Saturday, Sunday. Maybe the Sunday you're free. I don't know. I think I do Sunday. Let me see my schedule. Yeah. Why not? Eleven. What is it? 11th and 12th. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Calendar's the top left one. No, I'm looking at my That's schedule. That's your home screen. Yeah. Top left? I'm... I'm trying to get to my schedule, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not yours. Yeah. What are you gonna name it? Super funny. You're on your you're just scrolling apps right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm trying to get to my mail. Look, okay. I got a concept. All right, I'll be quiet. I saw ESPN. I was like, oh look. <laughs> <laughs> January eleventh. Yeah. Oh shocks. I'll be in uh I'm in Irvine. <sighs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Irvine, California. Oh, I'll let you know how it goes. That's a Saturday, Sunday, bro. It is. I thought you was doing Friday, Saturday. You're doing Saturday, Sunday? Yep. And you choosing Seattle because hometown? Absolutely. You gonna have like a backdrop of like the old Seahawk, uh the, the supersonics uniform and shit? No. There's gonna be a cool backdrop. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Some fish? You should have somebody just throw fish. The pike place the fish. Why? <laughs> <laughs> right. Some coffee and some white women sitting up there. Like some meth. <laughs> right. Somebody doing People meth. Just in the leaning. Corner. Yeah, welcome to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got dope. a lot of white homeless people. We've got a lot of everything. It's just all, it's all here. Lot. Denver, Seattle, top two white homeless. Denver was different because they got that that you guys can come do drugs downtown. Portland was even crazier. Portland got a lot of white homeless too. Portland, we saw when we first rode in, we saw like there were people out there, you know, they're walking and moving and all that. After the show, it, they must have all just gotten a fresh drop because everybody was leaning, like 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 looking for somewhere to sit. They all were like, there was you just look down the street, you, you see like drop? different. Yeah, somebody just came down the street and passed it out or something. But you yeah. saw like lighters flicking three blocks down. Like everybody was literally leaning. The whole, I mean, it was it was people just in the middle of the crosswalk just leaning. Like, hey man, get your ass out the street. It wasn't like that before. Before yeah, the show. Portland is something special. Man, they're just allowed. Who I think the 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 downtowns that they've let homeless and like the drug addicts just take over. Austin's real bad. Yeah. Austin's so pretty. They let them tents and them home. Because you can sit outside and eat, but then you got a guy taking a piss. You're like, I don't want to see that when mm -hmm, I'm getting mm -hmm. an omelet. I think it was a mistake. What? To let the, to, to like have like those those areas in that community where like you guys this is a safe place to do 
your drugs. Uh, San Diego's pretty bad, too. Well, they, they give them that place because they're like, people are ODing when they're reclusive with it. So let's just give them a place to do it. We can oversee it. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't think that was wise. No, nah, I wouldn't. I don't like Austin because I don't like downtown Austin. I used to love San Diego. I don't like downtown San Diego. What it's day bad. is it? What day is it? This is what day? October what? My special? No, no. You, yeah, you're supposed to come in on Tuesday. Yeah, the 29th. Right. And so right now, what day is today? 23rd. This is the 23rd. Yeah, so I will. Um, Austin's the 19th. Was Austin was the 19th. Uh, worst date you ever been on? Worst date? Yeah, ever. I told one a couple weeks ago. You did? About the girl that showed up with the baby. Yeah, that was really bad. That was a bad one. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, where I, I'll never forget. Okay, when I was uh, most of these are in Navy because you don't know any better, and that's when you're new to dating. So I just remember first time I ever dealt with a chick that was just so unappreciative. So I met this girl at a club. She lived in New York. I lived in D.C. at the time. She caught a train. From New York to D.C., she was supposed to hang the weekend. Right. And I was living on the barracks, on the base. Right. So I asked my buddy, can I use your apartment for a couple of days? Dang. And he was like, yeah, because he was on deployment. Right. So he's like, yeah, so he go was ahead. Th- he wasn't there. So he goes, yeah, yeah. So he left me the key or whatever. So uh, I just remember I looked up how to make chicken stir fry. And this was before the internet and all that. Okay. Like, you really had to find a cookbook. Right. I was like, I'm going to make it. I got the, the little water chestnuts. I was so proud of it. So I picked her up from the train station, right. drove her to his apartment, and I got everything set up, right? And she goes, oh, I thought we were going to go out to eat. And I was like, no, I'm, I made dinner. Right. And she goes, yeah, I don't even want this. You didn't even taste it, bitch. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at her like, bitch, you want what? What are you talking about? And then I go, she goes, um, she, I start like, being a smart aleck at that point. Right. That's before I was a comedian, but I still had that funny right, bone in me, right? So I'm going in on her, like stabbing her a little bit, right? Right. With, with just jabs. Right, right. And then she goes, you're um, you're insensitive. I said, what? She goes, you are rude and you are inconsiderate and you're insensitive. I said, why would you say that? She goes, some of the things you say to me. And then she goes, okay. So she was a psych major. She was in college. Mm. I said, you're a psych. Why don't you psych me? And now I'm pissed, right? Uh-huh. And she goes, okay, would you ever date a fat girl? And I go, no. She goes, that's what I thought. I said, what do you mean? She goes, you're shallow. And I was like, well, I'll tell you this. If I saw a fat girl choking on a chicken bone, i give her the Heimlich and save her life. Right. Still think I'm shallow? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't fuck her, though. I'd save right. her life. I said, I'd save her life. Right. And then I just, I just remember I was like, you should probably go back. And then I took her back to the train station. She was back on the train same day. Damn. She was supposed to stay the weekend. I was. I and you was had done. hella water chestnuts left. Hella you. stir fry. I stayed. I still stayed in the apartment all weekend chilling, watching Steelers and Redskins. I you stayed in stay his house all weekend anyway. Yeah, chilling, bro. That's amazing. Had leftovers. I can't think of my worst. The worst date I've ever been on. It probably wasn't the worst, but that was a bad one. <sighs> well, I tell you, one was it was fucked up, man. Uh, I took a girl on a date and went to Red Lobster, I remember. And we're sitting there talking, and it's going cool. And then a homegirl comes up, and a homegirl's talking. And then she's talking long enough, and I'm like, do you want to sit down? Like, you know, we're still waiting. You know, we still got the little biscuits out. We don't got our food yet. And so she sits down, and then the waiter comes and brings her order from wherever, like, She's like, your food, we're gonna bring your food here. So my food came, my date's food came, and then she just had food, because I don't remember her ordering. The bill comes out and they lay it in front of me for all three people. You must be out your mind. They start talking while the bill hits. Like, here's your bill. They're like, girl, so how you been? You been good? <laughs> Nate? <laughs> Going don't don't do that. Don't, That's how they yeah, did me. Yeah, but don't give me that voice and lean into me, please. Okay, let's see what else. Um, <laughs> what's something you've never been able to do well? Anything mechanical. Really? Can't work on a car. Can't fix nothing at a house. Flat tire? <laughs> Good luck. Triple A. What? Even I, a tire? I can't do shit, bro. Yeah, what about... Uh, 
Can you, Any, anything mechanical, I'm out. What about replenishing staples? A stapler? Yeah. You probably do that. No. Some people are like, oh, my God, what do I do? Really? Just yeah. Do, 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 do. What about a, a paper jam and a printer? I can figure that out. Okay. I think getting a paper jam out is harder. Like, the steps are more complicated than the flat tire. I'm talking about anything underneath that hood. Forget about it? I'm not the guy. I okay. sometimes think about that, like, because I, I used to love The Walking Dead. And then some of those post-apocalyptic movies where they, they'd be in a house. You gotta but they got their own well. They yeah, got own, yeah. They, they got their own generator. Those homesteaders. Go, dude, I'd be so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. It's over by myself. Like, I can't build a fence. I can't do anything. I can't get anything fucking out. Yeah, I need some help. <laughs> yeah. I'd be the guy when they knock on the door. Hey, man. Hey, man, come in. Dude, yeah. I need help. Help me. Not knowing I'm going to rape everybody and kill everybody. I'm like, dude, I'm going to risk it. We, can, we, can't make, we ain't going to make them a talker, baby. You got raped over a flat tire. <laughs> you ever, see those movies? Like, they got the, they got the, they, there's always, like, some kind of hidden underground yeah. bunker with yeah. all kinds of canned food. Yeah. It's always peaches and tomatoes. Yeah, survivalists. Yeah. Nah. None of that. No. Dang. Where would you go if it was if it was like if something happened, where would you go? Are you like what people's like, I'm gonna haul up, I'm holding up at Costco? Uh no, I'd probably find a coast where I can fish. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then I don't know how to fillet it. <laughs> <laughs> Just ate the bones. <laughs> how do you eat the bones? Who shit. If I can't lean to you and do the girl's voice, you can't do a fish <laughs> at a restaurant. I think we're even. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so i'll say this um something that i've never been able to do well mm. i feel like i do a lot of things well <laughs> is that cocky to say i just feel like my dad made sure like boy you better be well-rounded and do this stuff um oh I ice skating i can ice skate you got me. I can't. I went one time, and uh, we were in Sun Valley, Idaho. My mom had some conference, and she brought me. And I just got on the skates, and I'd done, like, a couple laps. I started to feel myself because I roller skate, like, four wheels roller skate. And I was like, okay, I got this down. And it was this, like, older hockey kid. Like, he was a teenager, but he was going pop, 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 pop. Oh, he was doing a slide? Yeah, but like, he was, like, spraying ice. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. oh, that looks dope. So I was like, I could do that shit. Pop up. Oh, my whole body flew. My skate stopped. I kept going. I hit the wall, not like a whole tennis ball stuck inside my skull. Oh, I've seen, you see fighters doing that sometimes. You Crying. On, yeah, like they needed to release the bump, like spirit or whatever they call it. I don't, what was it, Lancet or something. Get, let it get the pressure out. No, it just immediately I had a lump on my head. I said, I'll never ice skate again. That is something for sure. I've never been able to do well. Okay. I got a story. People be skating all in the mall. I'd be like, these motherfuckers are crazy. Well, what we could do is if the Pocus Apocalypse thing happened, um, give me a fishing pole. I'll ice skate out to the middle of the frozen lake. Yeah. And I'll bring the fish back to you. Okay. And you'll know how to fillet it. How you going to dig it. the hole? No, we'll find one. We'll just find it. The two of us going to make it. Yeah. Between we, the two of us. We figure out what you do yeah. good and what I do good. We're going to survive. Yeah. Okay. I think it'll be all right. No, I'm not. That's unequivocal. I'm going to survive. I am I can make it. I'll make it. You have the fishing pole. We'll figure out the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I'll be watching Naked and Afraid. They be losing hella weight, and I got weight to lose. So I'll be all right for a That's while. Not Whenever I watch The Walking Dead, I'm like, why is that guy still fat? It's been like eight years. Right, like, he's got he's got a he got some snacks. Where's the hidden you guys about. Twinkie truck that you found <laughs> exactly. that you're not telling us about? <laughs> he's, he's out here eating zombies. <laughs> let's be honest. So what you, you were talking about ice? Oh, I, okay. I got a funny story. Not about ice skating, but still water. Uh, you're jet skiing, right? I've never been jet skiing. You haven't? No. Jet skiing is not as fun as sea bobs. Sea bobs is the new shit. What is that? Man, it's like the, you just grab on, it's almost like a, a, a self-contained mini sub almost. Like you just hold on to it and press it and, and you can go under the water and come up. What? And all over. Sea bobs are the shit. 
Who? Everybody that when I first did it in the Bahamas yeah. last year, I told I used to tell everybody, do you ever do a sea bob? He said, no, I go, nobody got on the jet ski. We had like three sea bobs and a jet ski, and nobody wanted to get on the jet ski. I was like, I want the sea bob. Really? It's that much fun. And you can go deep. You just gotta make sure you got enough air to come back right. up. Right. But that mug will be and you're just like a dolphin. Yeah. You come up, down. But the opposite. Go, it's so dope. You can go you underwater. Say, if, they're, if they're watching us. Who, the dolphins? Yeah. They're like, look at them frolicking. <laughs> look at them frolicking. We ain't scared of no sharks. <laughs> right. So I was on a jet ski one time, and <laughs> I'll never forget, all these guys were on jet skis, and they were doing fishtails. <laughs> so I asked one of the guys, I was like, yo, how you be doing that? He goes, yo, you got to gun it, and you got to cut it. And he got to let go, let go of the gas, right. right? He said, let go. So I'm gunning it. Let go. I let go. Yo, they said it was the biggest fishtail they ever saw and me flying through it. <laughs> they were like, yeah, <laughs> <"Fook."> <laughs> <laughs> And I skipped like a rock. I was like, doo, 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 Damn. Right? So I'm, I'm getting bagged on all weekend. Because I'm with like Did you get hurt? No, no, I was fine. I was okay. like, I was like 21. You know, you're durable that time. <laughs> so I'm getting bagged on all weekend by everybody right. that was on the boat with us. Uh it gets to the last day. I said, man, I'm sick of this shit. I gotta, I gotta, I'm sick of getting made fun of. Somebody brought a speedboat and they had the inner tube that you hold on. Oh Lord. You know what I mean? This ain't so I'm better. riding. I said, okay, I can hang on to a inner tube. Right. So I'm hanging on, right? And I'm all I'm hearing is where, 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 where. You don't hear nobody. You just hear people talking like gibberish because you're going so fast, right? right? The shit, the the speedboat guy is trying to throw you. So you're bouncing off the He's water. He's trying to get you yeah, off. Yeah, that's of it. the whole point of it, right? Okay. That shit flipped. So I'm gonna eat the water, but I'm still hanging on. And I flipped that bitch back. And so I'm still on it. I can hear people on the lake going, oh, oh. I'm thinking, oh, I did some crazy shit, right? right? You know, you know, oh, oh. I'm like, yeah, you motherfucker, you saw it, right? I look down, my swim trunks are gone. Damn. So when I flipped, it went, Foo. so these people aren't going, oh, shit, they're going, that motherfucker's naked. Right. <laughs> look it's at that mole. Just, what? <laughs> 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 that's that's that white dude got a black spot. Shit. There's hair on it. Look at You're not supposed to be able to see it. Look at that white ass with that black ass mole. <laughs> My right, shit so. was floating like it was Jaws. Uh, it was just in like, so now everybody, I got to let go of the inner tube because I got to get to my shorts. Oh, uh, you got to go to them. They, everybody's trying to get them shorts. Yeah, like they everybody's with them yeah, jumping yeah. off the boat trying to get yeah, to it. I'm like, naked. Yeah. yeah. Did you get see to this them? Hole? Yeah, I got them. Yeah. So it's so bringing it full circle, right? Like give great stories, and then you're about to do your special. The special comes out on YouTube on Tuesday, and it's called Broken Family. Is there a story with family that's that is like an embarrassing thing where you took the blunt of it? In this special? No, For just period. in general. I think my whole family's pretty embarrassing. As, what, as a whole. <laughs> your, your whole family's embarrassing? Yeah, as a whole, they're kind of embarrassing. Okay. You, which one? Which side you want? The mom or the dad side? A mom. Good mom, stepdad story. Ugh. Stepdad was such a fucking dick. But you had one stepdad the whole time. Yeah, well, she dated guys, but she was dating one guy named Billy. Then my stepdad broke into the apartment and beat him up while they were sleeping. What? He never even got to wake up for his album? He woke up, he was getting pummeled <laughs> by Rod. Rod said, I it's told always, you, y'all. It's always a Rodney. If I, I never find out you're over there. Band out, right? So you're, that's, Rodney's your real dad? My stepdad. So one stepdad beat another stepdad? No. My mom was just dating this guy. Right. She had, she had dated Rodney. Yes. Broke up. And I think Rodney went to jail for a little bit. And then he got out. And then he broke into our apartment and beat up Billy. Billy was in bed with my mom. So all that I remember, I was like five or six. But you my didn't mom call woke Billy your stepdad? No, Billy was just, he was just banging my mom. Well, and that's, that doesn't make him a stepdad? No, he was just hanging out. He'd come over to the apartment and hang out with her. Okay. So all that I remember is my mom was in her nighty, 
And she goes, Gary, we gotta go. We gotta go. And I could hear things in the bedroom going, ooh, too. <laughs> I heard, like there was a scuffle going yeah. on, right? So we got in the car. I remember she, we, <laughs> we were in the little apartment. We walked down a little breezeway. We get in the car, we take off, and I don't know what's going on. I just know we went to like her friend's apartment, and I was there for like a week. Uh-huh. So I was just happy I wasn't in school. Right. I, think I was like in first grade. Right, right. I just remember we came back to the apartment, and I just remember there was a mop bucket, and there was so, it was so red from blood and water. Damn, right. And then there was a dent in the fridge and a hole in the wall. So he beat like, him all over that apartment. Back. I never saw Billy again. Really? Never saw Billy again. Would you? If I'm laying with a woman and some dude starts beating me up, I'd be like this. Yeah, we're broken up. I'm, For ain't, sure. Ain't no pussy. What's, so what's the difference between Billy and, and the other guy? Why can't, how come Billy Rod? wasn't? Billy and Rod, how come they both weren't considered stepdads? Rod ended up marrying my mom eventually. After beating Billy up? Yeah. Yeah, she picked the winner. <laughs> Damn, so can fight. So they, they, they. She met Rod when I was three. Okay. They dated till I was five. Okay. Then he beat Billy up somewhere between five and six. Okay. And then I didn't see him. And then when I was seven, yeah, we moved to a different apartment. And I just never forget my mom going. Hey, I got an old friend coming over today. And I was like, who? And she was like, Rod. And I went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and all I remember, I didn't see him that night, but the next morning, Saturday morning, right. I'm in the I'm in the living room watching TV and some cereal. And Rod came down in a robe. I think it was my mom's robe. <laughs> Jesus I was like this, like, oh. Rod. Oh, fuck. And that motherfucker never left. He said after that the whole time. I never saw him leave again. Never had a job. He was just kind of hanging out. So in Broken Family, you talk about I don't Rod? talk about him at all. I'm talking about my real dad. Oh, so you gotta you have to delineate that. So you yeah, spend a lot of time with your real dad? Mm-mm. I barely knew him. I mean, he was a he'd come around like every every so often growing up. Rod tried to beat him up too. Rod punched him at my wedding. Why? Because he looked at him funny. And that's all it took. That's what he said. So I was worried about my wedding to my my for your first family. wife, right? Because I knew my stepdad's crazy. Okay. The problem with having a crazy stepdad, he could fight. So when you're telling people, like in junior high school, my stepdad's crazy. You know, your high school kids, man, beat his ass. I go, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. When you got a stepdad that you've seen knock people out. Or, like ju- or, ju- or jump rope, whatever. Yeah, right? Like, I saw this guy... Let me see, growing up, I saw him literally knock out three separate dudes with the one hitter quitter, too. Like, I was like, he can fight. Damn. And he was an asshole. What did Rod do? Where did Rod, where was Rod from? Like, what was Rod? He's from Middletown, Ohio. You know where, I don't know who's, who's from Middletown. Chris Carter. Okay. From Middletown. So, like, Jerry a hardworking Lucas, city of Mill. industry. Yeah. Tough motherfuckers. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Hard Times with Charles Bronson? Yeah. It's a great movie. You no, know, he was like a street fighter. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, see, it no. came out like in the 70s. It's a great movie, though. That's but, the problem. But Rod, I, I heard my stepdad, like at 15, 6 years old, was driving to downtown Cincinnati and getting into the street fights for money. Like they what? go, They go to like alleys and people put money down, like gambling and motherfucking street fight. I heard he was doing that in high school. And getting money. Getting money. So he, 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 he's known. Rod was famous. I guess. He was hot Rod outside of y'all house. <sighs> That motherfucker could fight. Okay. Did he, he teach you anything? Huh? Did he teach you anything? Did he teach you how to fight? He Okay, so he had boxing gloves. <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like eight. Right. So he remember my mom when I was seven. So I was like eight. And there was a kid that lived next door that was like 10 or 11. Uh-huh. And he put the boxing gloves on us. And we went in the backyard, and we're boxing. And I'm, I don't know I'm going to be a comedian in the future. Okay. So the guy hit me kind of hard a couple of times. So I act like I wasn't really knocked out, but I act like I go, ha, ha. I went down. <laughs> we had like eight kids in the neighborhood in the backyard, and everybody started laughing. And Rob goes, what the fuck you doing, man? Right. What are you doing? I was like, I was, I was joking around. You right. know, that shit kind of hurt, too. <laughs> right. He said, go to your room. What? I go to my room, and then they, he comes up, and my mom goes, okay, uh, you got two choices. Rob can give you a whooping. Or you're grounded for a week. And I go, for what? Right. And they go, 
And you're in the backyard acting goofy. I was like, oh my God, I, I didn't want to put the boxing gloves on. Right. And so, then so I was like, the neighborhood kid wanted to put them on. And of course he wanted to put them on with me. I'm two, three years younger than him. Right. He's like twice as big as me. And right. I'm going, I said, well, I'll take the grounding. I already got my ass whooped once. I only get ass whooped again. Yeah, I only, two, I only two ass whoopings. Yeah, so I was like this. Oh, mom, thanks. But if your pops wasn't around, then Rod really is your dad. Rod was around every day. So that's who, who so, but Broken Family's not about Rod. No, nah, it's about my dad. Are you going to talk about Rod in one of these? I used to talk about him a lot. And then I went away from it in my act because it was getting dark. Okay. Because I think good comedy, you have to redeem it at the end. It can't be dark, 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 and then just leave it dark. It should go somewhere. Yeah, but I just have not have any... Nothing. It could, it's it could go dark. dark to light or light to dark or but whatever it is, it should go somewhere and we should know exactly where it's gonna go. We well, shouldn't be able to anticipate the ending. Well with Rod, I just know when I used to talk about him on stage, it because I he's got I got all these irrational stories with him. And I'm going, it's just like, where do you go with it? I didn't like where it was taking me mentally, honestly. Okay. And you still talk to him? Mm-mm. Hell no. The him and you, him and your mama not together. Yeah, they're still together. And you don't talk to him. Mm -mm. Ain't no barbecue or nothing where Raj was over there. Nope. What? I don't talk to him or my mom. What? Mm mm. Or my real dad. What? Yeah, it's like that. White people, man. We we, we don't fuck around. Bro. Raj white. Yeah. I don't know why I made him black. No, all he, the stories just seem nah, like I he's like black. black. I, I started all the black shit. <laughs> <laughs> Raw thought I was gay when I was younger. He asked me if I was gay. Christopher Columbus over here. Yeah. No, he asked me if I was gay. It was the weirdest. The moment I was like seven. You were a little kid? Yeah. And he said, are you gay? I go, what's that? He goes, you like little boys? I go, yeah. They're my friends. <laughs> They're all my friends. I love little boys. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I knew it. I oh, sorry. shit. I didn't know what he, he meant. He accidentally came out. And then like years later, he asked me again. He was like, yo, now I'm like a teenager. So you know what he I'm asking like, you this time. He goes, yo, you remember a couple years ago after you was gay? And he was like, I was like, yeah. He goes, I mean, you could tell me. I go, uh, no, I'm, I'm not gay. I'm just saying, if you're gay, you can tell me. I said, I'm not gay. He wouldn't let it go. And then I was like, I told him I like black girls. I said, I like black girls, man. I ain't gay. He goes, you don't bring every girls over the house. I go, we live in a trailer. Right. I'm not bringing those girls back to this raggedy ass <laughs> trailer park. I'm Damn. trying to seal the deal, not fuck it up. Damn. Rod, huh? How come what 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 was the the straw that broke the cat? Why is Rod not in the picture? I just couldn't be around him anymore. And then I just told my mom, I said, we can hang out, but I can't hang out with him. He can't come over to the house or nothing like that. And then when my brother died, that's really what. That's what fucked everything up. And then before that, I did an article. On, you can look it up. I did an article on BuzzFeed.com. Okay. They did an eight-page thing on me about nine years ago where it was like, why is a white comic one of the biggest black comics in the country? That was the article? Yeah, the article was like, how does a white guy tap into a whole nother demographic? Right. normally it's you... Like Sebastian's got the Italians, Joe yeah. Coy's got Filipinos. The audience looks I like went you. the opposite. Right. And then there's been black guys that have done it, but not a white guy doing that. Right. So they was like, how does that happen? Within the eight page article, for less than a paragraph, he interviewed my mom. He interviewed like my old high school coach, Will Packer. And then they my stepdad wouldn't do it. My stepdad wouldn't do the interview. And I told him, I said, I said, Oh yeah, he's an asshole. And then the guy put that in the article, like it's in the article. Yeah, he goes, yeah. Gary said his stepdad's an asshole, so we didn't get an interview with him. No, but when I said he's an asshole, yeah. that's in there. And then I said, yeah, I don't really like him. I said I bought my mom a car last year, and I, I made sure it was like a light blue, so he would never drive it. Right, Very feminine. Right. <laughs> and then uh, when the article came out, that bothered my mom because the family secret's kind of out. Okay. Like, oh, cause when I say when that dude dies, yeah, he's gonna have three people at his funeral. He's got no friends. Damn. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to be around him. So that's what started the whole. My mom got upset because you're like, how could you? You know how it is. 
you can't talk about it. It's your dad. It's your stepdad. Right. He raised you. I go, nah, he's just around. He didn't really raised me. Huh. What are your, you have siblings, right? Seven. Seven? Or seven. What are you? I got an older sister, and then I'm the oldest boy. This is things people didn't know about you. For sure. And it's cool that you're doing a special called Broken Family, and you get to talk about it because we can watch this set on Tuesday and and yeah. tap into Owen. Yeah, but I'm talking about my real dad during my special. Okay. You are you a good dad? Am I a good dad? Yeah, I'm better than the ones I had. You ain't never just uh, who slammed your baby tooth out? You said your dad. My stepdad did, did that. Right. That was Rod. Dad, damn. Rodney did the baby tooth. He just stood there laughing with his homies. I remember they, like, the shit you remember growing up, like, we shouldn't have did that. I remember I smoked a bong when I was, like, five. What? With one of Rod's friends. With weed in it? Yeah. I thought it was cool because it made a cool sound. And I kept walking around the apartment going, I'm the popcorn man. So you, I'm the popcorn man. <laughs> but, but you 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 hit a you hit a water bong at five years old. Five years old. <laughs> You're probably a comic right now because of that shit. <laughs> I never knew what it was. I just thought it made a funny sound. You hit me at five years old. How old were you when you smoked weed first time? How old were you? How old were you? How old were you? Probably thirteen. Five. <laughs> but I didn't do it again. Until you were 13. No, I just never did it again. You, like, know, you don't smoke weed ever? Uh-uh. I don't either. When's the, How old were you when you lost your virginity? 19. That's a late bloomer. I was late. Yep. This was the ugly girl in San Diego? No. This was in D.C. <laughs> this is, okay, this is a funny story. So the my I was living in the barracks in D.C., and my roommate in the barracks... He had his girl always hanging out there. Yeah. She started bringing one of her girlfriends there around a lot, right? And the girl was always hitting on me, but I was always pushing her away because I was like, one, I was a virgin. Uh -huh. And I was like, ah, I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know what I'm doing if we end up messing around. And she wasn't that great looking. She wasn't terrible. So anyways, one night, I'll never forget, we was drinking like, uh, what was it? Uh, Mickey's. Okay. Remember Mickey's in the, the, the fat? Yeah. Bottles. We're drinking that. And my roommate and his girl left. Now it's just me and her. Uh-oh. I'm talking the door closed. And she was like, er, and she was on me. Right away. Right? <laughs> I don't know how long I lasted. Because I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know what a what it was supposed to feel like inside of off, a woman. You was off that Mickey's. You don't so know. So I was like. All of a sudden, I was like, I must, I must have made a face. I was like, oh. right. and she goes, she goes, are you coming? I said, yeah. She goes, already? I was like, this, get out. <laughs> <laughs> so I kicked Dang. her. I kicked her out of the barracks room. She's this is like raw meat to lions. You gotta realize, you are in the presidential honor guard barracks. There's nothing but dudes. Yeah. And all the dudes are like over six foot. 34 inch waist, tall, everybody's in shape, and everybody's between the age of 18 and like 22. Right. Just a bunch of horny dudes. When I kicked her out of my room, she started, she goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't answer the door, right? I could hear dudes outside my door go, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, you, who you from? Yeah. yeah. Are you, you Gary's girl? No, oh no, I'm just his friend. Oh, okay. Wait, look, I'm in room 16. <laughs> Hold on. Why did somebody scoop her up? What? Because it all gets back to us in the barracks. Right. It's a big high school. And like, somebody knocked her off right after I did. Somebody scooped her up. And she took your virginity with her down to the hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. It was like I was a virgin, but I <laughs> I never nutted it because I was like, she was like, you coming? I go, yeah. She goes, already? And then that's when I got mad. So I get out. Oh, you didn't even that? Nah. I was so close. How were you the next time that you did it? That's probably a couple days later. Same girl? No, a different girl. I don't remember. But, but you pulled it off. Pulled it off. How old were you? Uh, 18. How old were you? 19. How old were you? <laughs> okay. How old were you? Huh. How old were you? 17. 
High school? Yeah, for in sure. In the school? Huh? In the school? No. Uh, it was on It was on one of those let out days where and we usually get out 2.40. It was one, we had school days that started late, like late start, and then we also had school days where you get out. Yeah, that was so weird. 40 minutes early. And Wednesdays, so, right? Uh, yeah. It was always Wednesday. It's like midday. And so I was, it was with, um, it was with this girl, Brittany Parker. You gave her whole name out. It's not the first time talking about the story. Oh. She doesn't believe that she took my virginity. And every time I see her, I'm like, it's you, goofy bitch. It's you. <laughs> but basically we were in her mama room. Now that part, nobody knows. We were in her mama room and her mom had one of them where you get the box spring and then the mattress and then the mattress. Mm -hmm. So she had a, a extra tall. It was perfect height. For me to just stand there, and just stand there, and she laid she laid on her back, but she put her feet around me on on the wall because the bed was close to the wall, and That's so all I Brit. I just went like that, and she would go whoop wobble, whoop wobble. Shouts out to Brit. So I accidentally <laughs> fucked the shit out of this bitch for my first time. <laughs> By the time I got to my cousin's house after this nigga, he he was like, "Bruh, what did you do?" I was like, "I humped. I'm, I'm not a virgin no more." He was like, listen to this fucking voicemail. He goes over and plays an answering machine where she was trying to call and called his house and left a message on his dad's answering machine. And she's like, oh, my God, it was amazing. <laughs> your cousin. No, she talked about it, though. She goes, to this day, she goes, your cousin's in Anaconda. Like, we'll never forget that. I could call him right now. I swear to God, he'd be like, <laughs> Oh my God, you're an anaconda. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to call him and see if he remembers. It's late, but I want to see. I just want to see if he remembers this, but this is real. You're an anaconda. Your cousin's an anaconda. Your cousin's no, an anaconda. Yeah, you got to you gotta double up. You got to get around that. Yeah, go ahead and ring. Yeah, wake, wake your ass up. I'm going to just do it like that. You ain't sleep. Mackie, this is Nate on my new phone number. I'm on my podcast with Gary Owen, and I'm telling the story about how I lost my virginity and how I left. <laughs> <laughs> but how I left uh, Brittany's house and I came to your house and she left a voicemail. What'd the voicemail say? Oh, fuck. Mackie, your cousin. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the nigga? Is this the one where she had to use the ice cubes in her fucking? Whoa! <laughs> 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 what, what story are we talking about? We're live. That's what's up. <laughs> no, she she said she's like she said like an anaconda. Oh, an anaconda. Yeah, that one. I remember that because she talked a lot like a valley girl. She's like, Mackie, your cousin, he has a dick like an anaconda. Yo, Mackie, why were you asleep and you woke up so fast? <laughs> he wasn't asleep yet. He was like, like, do not disturb. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She said, your cousin. He like an anaconda. <laughs> yes, I'll never forget how she said it, because who says anaconda like that? Hey, you talking about the ice cubes in the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what'd you say about ice cubes? Didn't she suck you doing some ice cubes in her mouth? Whoa. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't remember. But you know, my memory ain't shit. Well, you have a good night. Nah, shut your ass up. Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Maggie, you motherfucker. <laughs> so what's, because it sounds like I just called him to just be like, tell everybody my dick's big. That's not what happened. <laughs> We were young. Yeah, young. You don't know. They don't know. They I'm don't know. I'm just kidding. No, but dead ass. We were, but she, Brittany was, she was established. Like, she fucked me, bro. Like, I was like, I I don't know how she, I don't know who she had been with or how she, if she it, but she, I do remember she, she was twisting and doing shit like that. And we Super were. Super bad shit. I was older than her. I was 17. She was 16. I mean, she been getting it in. Maybe. I don't know. For a while. I can't assume that. You, yes, you can. She has two <laughs> hands on her twisting. You ain't the first. You don't just learn that right but off the But that's bat. in the movies. You just got to watch a movie to twist. Ah, uh, nah. If it's good, you both said practice. Uh, <laughs> that's too much. That's a, that's a level three expertise move. Well, don't you remember Superhead when that came out? Yeah, I remember, I, I remember a video where she backed Mr. Market off, Mr. Marcus off. 
It's honey, motherfucker. They were outside by a pool. Yeah, and he was that's like, the one that, that's that blew up. Chill, God damn, we got to make a whole movie. I'm like, damn, what is she working right. with? Considering Mr. Marcus, that's what he savage. does for a living. Yes. And he could not handle it. He said, yo, chill. I said, wow. Yo. Then I read the book. And I got was, the yo, book after that. She was prettier in person. Yeah. Because I did a play with Darius McCrary. Remember? From Family Matters? Yeah. And Eddie. He was dating her at the time. Okay. And she, we, we were having rehearsals in LA. So she'd always come down to rehearsal. Yeah. When I tell you, she was so goddamn cool. And I was like this I go, oh, because you're always wondering. She tells on everybody. Right. And you're like, why do these guys keep sleeping with her knowing, knowing she's, she's about tell. to tell? Then when you meet her, yeah. I go, oh, she was She just charming. doesn't seem like she's going to tell. But I'm just, you're Chapter looking at her like. 16. Gary charming. You, you really believe like you're her best friend. Yeah. I was like, now Did I get it. Did she get you? No. She was with Darius. But when you talked to her, I was like, now I get it. Yeah. You know, because you. We're having lunch, and like she'll, she's very personable, yeah, and very nice. She's a sweet person. So you're just Shit. going, I get it. Her book read like that. Her book read like she was a sweet. Yep. You know what I mean? I was like, now I get it. I got nothing better to say. Where she was always cool to me. I only met her when she was dating Darius, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but she was, she was just cool to hang out with. And he got some whole other, another relationship now. I don't know what that's all about. I surely don't. It's the Sydney Star guy, girl. There you go, girl guy. I don't know. I just like this. Why is the internet going nuts? Like they just sit there, they make a video together, and there's 177 thousand likes and but it's like 14 thousand comments. I'm like, am I missing something? Between him and her, and then the dad supposedly fucking Diddy. There's so much going on with that cast. There's a lot. And the one girl went to porn. Remember the she girl did. that went upstairs and yeah. never came back down? Yeah. She went to porn. There's a lot going on with Family Matters. I got. I, I'm supposed to have a call this week. Where I'm supposed to host the porn awards. Really? Yeah. In Vegas? I don't know. I thought I thought it was in North Hollywood, but I think they moved the whole industry there. You want me my plus one? Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> Anaconda. <laughs> Listen, I have, is that vivid or something? Like that? I think so. Some of the AVA Adult Video Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's like their Oscars. Yeah, well, we're gonna. I'm gonna see this girl they, they takes cock <laughs> like no that's, other. That's fluffer. You ever seen Boogie Nights? Yeah, oh, that movie's so freaking good. Yeah, it's a classic. Who is who your favorite character in Boogie Nights? Uh, oh shit, I don't know. Travolta. Travolta wasn't in it. He wasn't. Mark Wahlberg was in it. Who? Young Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, John C. O'Reilly. Who's so John C. O'Reilly? And um, the one that passed away, uh, God dang it, I should know his name. I feel disrespectful that I don't know his name. Uh, John C. Riley and, um, uh, what's the guy's name? John Travolta, bro. You're just fighting it. No. He got an Oscar. He died of a heroin overdose. Damn. Belushi? No. Damn. Robin Williams? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Him. Yo, those two in Boogie Nights? When he, Hoffman in when he tried to kiss Mark Wahlberg, yep. and then the car goes, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> People don't realize how funny that dude is when he goes, I'm a fucking idiot. And then was was the one with Ben Stiller when he goes, make it rain. <laughs> He's fucking basketball. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's a really good movie. Which one? Boogie Nights. Oh, my God. John C. O'Reilly, though, the best is when Mark Wahlberg's singing, you got the touch. You got the power. And you see John C. O'Reilly in the background go like this in the going studio. hard. <laughs> yeah. He's his number one fan. I just saw somebody posted that, like, recently, and they were like, if you're not rooting for me like this, I don't fucking want you. And John C. O'Reilly's losing it behind. Dude. And then when he goes Marky like this. Marky Mark going crazy. The best when he goes, <laughs> he's sitting like this. And then get this, the engineer is like, yeah, man, what'd you think? And Mark Wahlberg's like, I thought the music was too loud. You can't, couldn't hear my vocals. And Josh Ray goes, turn it down. That's <laughs> <laughs> all my friend. You heard him. Turn, turn it, down. it down. No one here don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, like, turn it down. Turn it down, man. Oh, my fucking God. That movie's so good. But he sang his ass off. 
You got the touch. He was rapping before that. So that people really Marky were Mark. like, yeah, but they're like, wait, Marky Mark can sing? Marky Mark was the first celeb I ever saw in person. When he was Marky Mark, he, I was in the Navy. He was Marky Mark with the Funky Bunch. Yeah. And he was, I'll never forget, I was listening to the radio all week, and they said, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, coming to King's Island. And they had some outdoor concert venue. And this is before 9 11. So right. You can go right to the gate. Right. I was sitting there with like some buddies of mine. They just bullshit. And all of a sudden, like six of the biggest black dudes I ever saw in my life get off the plane. I go, the fuck's going on there? Right. And then right in the middle, was Marky Mark. He was so short. And I just remember when I contact, I literally, it just came out. I go, oh, shit, Marky Mark. I didn't say it loud. Right. And I just remember he had, he was handling like this. And he was like, I just did it back. I was like, oh, Marky Mark. I go, <laughs> <laughs> I felt like we bonded. Right. <laughs> he just, uh, he was just so little. I mean, I just remember he had the biggest fucking calves. The really? calves were huge. Does he have big calves? I, from what I remember, obviously the story's 28 years old now, and I'm sure that they've grown in my brain. Okay. But at that moment, I was like, he's very short, and he's got big-ass calves. Right. So. I feel like when we tell stories about our past and stuff, that like the size of things and stuff we saw is not the real. You ever been back to like an elementary school classroom? And you're like, God, I remember being bigger than this. Probably what the girls think about your anaconda. <laughs> and that's why I said it. Because I don't have an anaconda, guys. I have a, I have a gardener snake. Gardener snakes are so little. A slug? <laughs> All I know is when you did your dick and balls, you were like, my dick, my balls. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. My dick. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because I ain't folding my shit in half for nobody. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what they say? The That's somebody's time. joke. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, fold in half. I, need, I, need, I need seven inches or more. I'm like, I ain't fold my shit in half for nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's well, that, this was a good episode. It was fun. So, Broken Family, this Tuesday. Let's hype it up. You say it regular. I'll be your hype right. man. This Tuesday. This Tuesday. October 29th. Going down October 29th. 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Pacific. 6 p.m. Pacific. See the greatest comedy special. The greatest special comedy special. In the history of YouTube. In the history of you. No, no, you. no. In the history of Earth. Tube. And the history of all the Earth. Yo. Gary Owen presents Broken Family. We'll see y'all next week. Like, subscribe, comment, share. This and that is going down. Bing.